Hey, what's up everyone? Pastor Carlin here from Lakeside. I'm super excited. We're starting something brand new today called Daily Devos. Uh, we saw such an amazing response from our 15 days of prayer and we saw how encouraging it was to you. So we wanted to continue that daily encouragement through these devotionals. So for the next 15 days, you'll be hearing from myself and our other staff members as uh, we bring a word to encourage you every single day. So make sure you tune in. If you don't like us on Facebook, go ahead and like us, follow us on Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you don't ever have to miss a thing and you can stay connected to us and we can stay connected uh, to you. So I'm super honored to teach the first day. You know, I remember growing up, uh, me and my brother and our best friend, we played outside every single day. You couldn't get us to not play outside. We were either playing basketball or baseball on the side of the house or roller skating or skateboarding or maybe we were just even riding our bike and uh, every day we were outside and what would happen to us oftentimes is that we would end up getting chased by a dog in our neighborhood. There were tons of dogs and we'd always get chased and what would happen was we would be minding our own business and I'm sure many of you are at home laughing at me right now and that's okay. This, this was my childhood. We would be minding our own business and we would see a dog coming and, and here was always our solution. We would jump onto the nearest car that we could find. Not my parents' car, not my own car. Like it could be a random stranger's car, it didn't matter. We just had to get to that place of safety. We were just gonna get on top of a car and stand on it until the owner called their dog back. And that was just a regular occurrence. That happened like every single week. And I can remember this specific time where this dog came chasing after me and I felt a real fear. Like I feared for my life, I was genuinely afraid that I was going to get killed by this dog. So I can remember shifting my focus off of the dog and onto the nearest vehicle that I could see. And I began to sprint and go as fast as I possibly could to get on top of that vehicle. Cause to me, that was a safe place. That's, that was a place where uh, that dog could no longer harm me. I tell you that story to tell you this, uh, in a time when it's so easy to be focused on the issue and the problem, I think it's extremely important that we be focused on on Jesus. You know, it's not so much of what you're running from, it's who you're running to. And I think in this time, we should be running to Jesus, running to his word, spending time in his presence, running to God. I think that's extremely important. And the verse of scripture that I wanted to share with you today, and it was extremely encouraging for me, it's uh, Matthew uh, chapter 11, verse 28. The Bible says, uh, come to me, this is Jesus speaking. He says, come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. You know, the truth is, is that Jesus wants you to come to him. Jesus wants you to run to him. And in Jesus, we can find rest. In Jesus, we can find peace because it's so easy to focus on the problem, to focus on the issue. But I wanna encourage you today to shift your eyes off the problem and shift your focus onto the God who is bigger than every single problem that we can face. So I'm super excited that you tuned in today. And if I can, I just wanna take a moment to pray for you. Father God, I thank you for uh, every person that might be tuning into this today. God, I just pray that you would give them a peace that surpasses all understanding. God, that peace that comes from you. Help us not to focus on our issues, but help us to focus on you, God, and to be spending time in your presence and spending time in your word, God. And I believe that if we are uh, disciplined and that if we do that, God, that you'll give us rest and you'll have, give us peace in the middle of the storm. We love you. We praise you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Hey, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow for our daily Devo.